talk about how uh, pickup orders can be prearranged. Uh, let's start out by taking a pickup order. Now, if I'm on a register station when I take my pickup order, um, I can go ahead and pay for this order now, and it'll go into the register, or I can hit pay letter later and the customer can pay when they pick up the order. Now sometimes you might take a pickup order on a phone station that's not considered a register station. In this case, you now have the option to prearrange that pickup payment by processing a credit card over the phone. As you can see in this case, the only tender type option we have is credit because we can't put we can't take cash over the phone. However, if you process a credit card, the order will be submitted. Now, this order will remain open, uh, but just like a delivery order that's been prearranged, the credit card has already been paid for, has already been processed. When the customer comes in to pick up the order, you need to go to a register station. When I'm on a register station, if I hit finish, I can ha already have the tender uh, for the MasterCard, so I have zero remaining. I just can hit pay, and that'll close out the order. Another option you might want to do is prearrange a deferred pickup order. In this case, we'll go ahead and make this order deferred for Saturday. And when we hit finish, select pickup. And again, you'll notice the only tender type option I have is credit. Uh, I can go ahead and enter the credit card information. And now my order has processed as a deferred order. If you recall this order, you'll notice that the credit card has been deferred and will authorize when the order becomes live. The configuration of your station as a register station or non controls some of the behavior of the tender screen. This allows you to efficiently process phone orders for pickup and prearrange tender.